would you like to make a bit more money? Especially if you do have a bit of money, a savings account or whatever it may be. If you've had savings recently, it's not been good news. With low interest rates, the Bank of England interest rate has been down sort of well, just under one, isn't it, for ages and ages, a couple of years now. Uh, forget about savings accounts. If you want to make some money, get shares. Ouch. It's always scary, isn't it? That's the message from personal finance website Money Facts. But is it really the way forward? Uh, Jonathan Davis is an economist and wealth manager from Jonathan Davis Wealth Management. Uh, good evening to you there, Jonathan. Hi, Phil. Um, yeah, the reason I say ouch with shares is that I know that they can go up and down. So you, you could have the, the worst of all possible worlds, see your, sh- your savings go down and your shares go down. Well, absolutely. And uh, more to the point, why weren't these guys suggesting people buy shares when the market was down 70% um, lower than it is today a year and a half ago? It's gone up that amount, and now they're saying you should buy shares. Well, you know, frankly, it's typical of the financial services industry, of which I am a participant, where they always um, recommend people to buy high which, of course, is what you shouldn't be doing. In fact, let me tell you, my own firm, in the last few months, we've actually been reducing exposure to the markets, to the share markets in the last few months, because of the phenomenal rise. Now, this issue about uh, low interest rates um, on deposits, of course, it's absolutely the case. Most deposit accounts are paying less than 1%, as you imply. Um, but, you know, people can go online and five or ten minutes on the web, I'm telling you, they'll find two, two and a half, three percent interest rates um, without any hassle at all. They're tied up for a month or three months. Terrible thing. OK, yes. Uh, savings really is the, is the safest way to make some money because surely your shares, they will go down. The only other thing that we used to think was pretty safe was putting money into your house. And that's not safe anymore either. Um, well, no, it's not. And in fact, uh, we're, we're forecasting a, a, a second leg down in the housing market. We, of course, had one, um, shall we say, in 2008. Um, prices have been falling um, at the rate of about 10% a year since the summer when they hit a new peak at 10% below the all-time high. So they're 5% down from the summer. We're looking at 20 to 30% to come off over the next two or three years. Um, property for the last few years has actually been a terrible place to put money, um, but unfortunately not that many people listen to us. Um, perhaps they will now. Um, these are the years, Phil, of return of capital, not the years of return on capital that are perhaps most of your listeners have previously experienced. People have to preserve their capital because ultimately um, housing is going to go down, shares are going to go down. In other words, in due course, and I'm talking about over the next two, three, four years, in our view, there's going to be brilliant bargains from an investment point of view. All right, OK. So if you, you, you always at this time of the year got your uh, financial crystal ball out, uh, apart from obviously hiding behind the sofa or perhaps putting your money in a mattress, uh, what are your top tips then? Um, be patient. Well, absolutely. Um, preserve your capital. In other words, if you're getting 2 percent 2.5%, 3% interest um, on deposit, then be happy about that. Um, Look for dips in the stock market. Um, 10% would be nice to put something in. Um, 25% would be significantly nicer, obviously. But simply put, buy low, don't buy high. In other words, always look for significant dips. And in essence, don't go all in, so all or nothing. Um, When you see a dip, put a little in. Um, when you see another dip, put another little in, and over the long term, that will work well for you, and over the long term, that will make you more money in your pension and your eyes than cash. Jonathan, uh, glad you came along. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah. obviously, you'll, you'll want your 3% at least. It is 3%, isn't it? Um, I, I, I charge a fee for what I do. Oh, OK, oh, yeah, even better. Uh, anyway, Jonathan, lovely to speak to you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Have a good Christmas and a happy new year and as well. You.